Good morning and welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood. It's looking like a pretty busy day to enter the park. It took about 10 minutes to enter the theme park, which isn't that bad. I wanted to start my day inside of the Universal store because they have some new Horror Nights merchandise that I haven't seen in person yet. Of course, for the Quiet Place announcement, they released a Quiet Place t-shirt. However, on the right side of the arm, for the most part, the Horror Nights logo is the same, but the 2024 part follows that new character that they announced for Slaughter Cinema out in Florida. I also feel like this t-shirt may be incomplete. They only added one rule. Now, a lot of people had comments on these new tumblers and new design they're going for for Horror Nights 2024. I like it. It's very similar to Fright Fest, and I think Fright Fest is more streetwear, and I think that's what they were going for this year. I really like the design. I like the t-shirt. However, I wish they brought the acid wash shirt. It's the same design, but uh, the t-shirt is acid wash, so it's, it's more detailed. $33 for this t-shirt. <laughs> I feel like over the years, the t-shirt prices have been getting more and more expensive. I'm not sure if this is due to inflation. However, those uh, Horror Night t-shirts used to be 28. Now they're 33. They also have a heat reactive mug over here. So if you put a warmer drink inside of this mug, it'll expose the quiet place design. Just off the glare of the lights over here, you could somewhat see the design. It's clear that Chucky is making a return in some way, shape or form this year. Universal had a job posting not too long ago for someone to voice Chucky. So similar to Insult Emporium, or even in 2018 when they had the 80s nights on Thursdays, they'll probably have someone voicing the Chucky doll somewhere inside of the park. But yeah, they have a ton of merchandise for Chucky. They restocked these bags as well, which is nice. These aren't lounge fly bags, but they are $75. To add on to the nostalgic merchandise we have offered over here, they have a whole new line for Woody Woodpecker, which is actually making a return this Saturday. And I've, I've seen some appearances from Woody throughout the week, so they are soft launching Woody Woodpecker in the park again. They have this awesome white Woody Woodpecker t-shirt, and they've actually been pretty creative with some of the merchandise they've been releasing recently. Like, look at this, this is a Woody Woodpecker jersey over here they have another like woody woodpecker jersey over here with matching shorts this is very clever this t-shirt over here really takes me back to retro universal like universal's prime was probably anywhere between 2005 and 2014 i would say and this t-shirt really takes me back and to promote despicable me 4 over here in the main illumination store they have a ton of merchandise to promote the new movie. From button up t-shirts to bucket hats that are reversible. And they have a lot of Despicable Me 4 merchandise. And take a look at this popcorn bucket over here. I really like this. I can't wait to see the movie. And uh, a lot of this merchandise hints to certain scenes in the movie. So over here they have Gru, Gru Crew. So maybe there's like a racing scene, very like Talladega Nights. They also have smaller plushies over here and these are probably cheaper, yeah, $22. Universal has been making a lot of backpacks with their recent merchandise drops and uh, they continued that with Despicable Me 4. And look at these action figures over here. One is of this minion over here, maybe Kevin. This looks like Kevin and another one over here. Throughout the entire theme park, they have these little banners set up with QR codes on them. And each of these QR codes showcase what used to be in place before they renovated the theme park. Of course, over here, they had the Wild Wild West Stunt Show, which was an incredible stunt show and live performance they had in the theme park. And they replaced it with, uh, well, the plaza that we know and love. And beginning this Saturday, they have a lot more 60th anniversary celebrations that are going to start. They're introducing a lot of new photo ops in the plaza here. And if you couldn't tell already, the DeLorean is already on this elevated platform. So they're adding quite a few photo ops through the plaza. Obviously, you could take a photo in front of the Amity Island sign, 
over here there might be another jaws photo op it looks like those are shark teeth right here in the back they have a sign that says timeless friends i'm assuming that's where you can meet winnie and woody woodpecker obviously we have the delorean in the middle but this one over here stuck out to me the most this is uh, a bank and in front of the photo op they have little jail bars or it's not a bank there's there's a bank to the right side but there's a jail in the middle and a while ago maybe two or three months ago universal put up a job posting for someone to portray a sheriff or a cowboy so it seems like they might be bringing one of the characters from the wild wild west stunt show back and walking around the plaza that'd be really cool it'll be very very cool to see they're still getting ready here but they'll be ready by saturday and a massive change since the last time we we're here on this haunted house we have some early theming going on over here they're nowhere near done but this is uh this is starting to look good I don't know how many of you care about this piece of information, but HHN and stuff on Instagram always talks about the little details of Horror Nights, like the color scheme of the event every year. Last year, I think it was like purple or something, but this year, it's back to red. That's a nice look onto that ET photo op right there. They should set up the bicycles in front of it. Looking at the Fast and Furious roller coaster, it looks like this might be the mech bay over here. That's the main station over there in the middle. But a lot of the track is starting to connect now. And this is a, this is a really good sign. We'll get a better look right now, but it's so cool to see roller coaster track here. So gnarly. By the way, guys, I have Baba John, my dad. My dad is here. Baba John, check out his YouTube channel. So my dad is from France. And uh, did you want to translate what that says right there? It says happy birthday. It says happy birthday. But I think they were trying to say happy anniversary, right? Yeah, How do you say happy yeah. anniversary That's in French? Question. I haven't said it in many, many years. Uh, I have to think about it. How do you say happy anniversary? Is it the same way? That's what I'm saying, guys. I can't remember saying happy anniversary ever in my French life in French. But joyeux anniversaire definitely means happy birthday. It could be that they use both. So I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's looking really nice now. The track is connecting to the station. They have a, a lot of structures that have gone up since the last time we were here. So this is very surprising. It's a lot of like station and mechanic bay work. And we haven't seen any like intense track go up, but that'll, that'll probably start rising very soon. It's uh, pretty impressive how quick things are changing over here in the park. Obviously the lack of rain is helping us out a lot. Lots of work going on right now. Frankenstein and his bride are uh, watching this all happen here. <laughs> That's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen characters walk up to this spot. It's really close to us, wow. Oh, geez. Yeah, a pretty busy day. It seems like the average wait time is about 70 to 80 minutes. These coaster footers were just filled in with concrete. So we'll definitely start seeing some supports within the next month or two. Yeah, they're, they're getting a lot of work done. This side is slowly starting to take shape. It seems like their focus is more towards the upper half of the project. It's just crazy that they're able to move such large things like this up in the air. Oh wow, they already have some coaster footers way back there as well. <laughs> Damn, they're moving really quick. Looking down onto this haunted house over here, this was just announced to be Dead Exposure Death Valley. So Dead Exposure is a returning haunted house from Orlando. Its first year was in 2008 as Dead Exposure and they brought it back more recently as De uh, Dead Exposure Patient Zero. Both very different storylines. This one is using the same name as Dead Exposure, but this one themed to Death Valley. And this is how the storyline goes. There's a military base that tries to advance and create super soldiers, but something goes wrong. These super soldiers turn into super zombie soldiers. So this is almost like a Walking Dead-esque haunted house, but with much larger zombies and much more frightening in, more, in my opinion. 
based on the concept art they've already released, it's starting to look like a really great original haunted house. I'm excited to see the final product. That will wrap up our updates here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. I'm JP and how they say in the movies, that's a wrap. I'll see you in the next one.